Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to Electric Soldier Plays Pokemon XG Next Generation. So, we had some freezing happen uh, in between last episode and this episode when I went and I went ahead and purified our Electrike, I purified our uh, Clefairy and our Murkrow, and I taught Clefairy and Murkrow a couple of TM moves. Uh, and then we also went ahead and went to the Poke Spots when they went off here, and I was actually recording those, uh, but it did freeze and I lost our progress. So, we're gonna try again from here. I'm gonna make sure I've saved. I did save it was one minute ago, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, hopefully, I've changed my dolphin settings around a bit, and hopefully, like in accordance with some forum thread I read, hopefully this will increase our stability and it won't crash. Uh, we might get a little more slowdown because I did disable dual core, but if it gives us more stability, I will take that if it causes lag. Last time it was the Oasis focus spot, and I always forget to open the menu and look at the thing, but it was the Oasis focus spot again. It's a Gloom. Last time it was actually a level one Magikarp. So this Gloom being a Gloom is different. So here's our Ludicolo that we did catch and we have added to our team. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's much else to say. I'm uh, gonna hit this with Shadow Swim. I'm not really too concerned on if I hit it or not, or if I catch this or not, because I'm not gonna use a Gloom. I already have two very good grass types. But if it lives, and it did, then I'm gonna switch over, Spore it, um, and take our Hidden Hit, our Hidden Power Hit. Moderate damage uh, on a crit. Uh, we'll switch over to our Breloom and we'll Spore the thing. We'll try to catch it because this alone is. Oh, it's got a Citrus. Fine. Fine. We'll Shadow Swim it again. Um, we want to catch it just because it'll help us purify Pokemon faster. There you go. It's got Hidden Power. It's normally effective on Ludicolo, so that's a lot of types. Could be Ice, could be Fire. Could be a lot of things. We just know that it's not flying. Get Ludicolo back. And bring in our Breloom. Alright, it's infuriating, but I'm just gonna spore it. It does work on grass types in this gen. Hopefully we can just outright catch it here. Because a wild Pokemon with synthesis is just always uh, an annoyance. Broke out. I do want to catch these Pokemon though. And I guess I've got less patience left than you guys do, because I already caught a Magikarp, and then almost caught a Slowking, and that's when the game stopped. Uh, so yeah, I've got a little bit... I'm a little impatient with catching these Pokémon right now. But it's fine. We'll catch it. We'll put it in our PC. We'll use it to purify other Pokémon. It's better than a level 1 Magikarp, I'll give you that. Oh, come on! Good hidden power. He didn't go for um, synthesis again. That was a lot of damage. Okay, so it must be something like fire or psychic. Cause it's not flying. Cause that would have hit the Ludicolo. Uh, it's like fire or psychic or I forget if fighting nature resists ice. I don't think it does. So yeah, we will. 
probably throw our next ball. Still don't have a re uh, renewable resource. Uh, or sorry, great balls are still not a renewable resource quite yet. So we should be able to catch this in a Pokeball if we can catch it at all. I'm gonna risk it and throw another uh, Rock Tomb at it. Because if I crit, it, it'll die, which is a real shame. I'll probably cut it if it dies, honestly. Didn't die. And it's still asleep? Please still be asleep. Yes, no, I woke up. I thought it was still asleep because its eyes were closed. Rookie mistake. There's the Breloom. Alright, my only other status is Toxic, which I don't want to bother. I don't want to try using Toxic on it. We'll just send in Bagon. We'll see if it's an Ice-type hidden power. Alright, we'll throw that Pokeball. using synthesis. Oh my god, I forgot it had synthesis. Throw one great ball. And then I'm going back to Pokeballs. And if I get down to 30 Pokeballs, I'm just gonna not bother with this thing. I'll Dragon Claw if it synthesis again. Oh, we got it. Alright, cool. So now we have a Gloom. And unlike the time that got lost at the Magikarp, I'll save here. It doesn't seem to lag as much when I'm saving with these new settings, so that's kinda nice. Oh, I should replenish that spot. Anyway, after that we can head back to uh, Pyrite and get rid of the- er, clear out the ONBS building. Except, if, like, the RNG seed is the same, as soon as I get here and take like five steps in, it'll trigger a cave poke spot encounter. There it is. Yeah. So we'll heal up. Just gonna do it the quick way. And there we go. That should heal up our Breloom. I'll do the Purify Chamber stuff off camera because it's not very interesting. Um, I like it as like a little puzzle. Not really a puzzle, but like just optimizing it, but it's definitely not fun to watch, so. I guess it's assumed that it was the cave, uh, but we'll see. It was not. Ooh, seed's different. Like, would it have been so hard for a uh, genius to put in when the thing goes off, like, oh, it's telling you where it is. Like, it tells you, oh, it's the rock book is not going off. But anyway, bring out our Breloom. Hit it with a spore. The uh, Slow King had a, had a new ability, it was called Trickster, and it automatically set Trick Room as soon as it entered combat, which is pretty neat. And we'll hit it with Rock Tomb, it's our weakest move to hit it with. Minor damage. You could probably get away with a Mach Punch. But let's see if this is enough. We'll hit it with one more Rock Tomb. I whiffed. Five pulls to the ball. I really want to get the ability to buy more Great Balls, Ultra Balls. I saw its eyes awake when the, when the ball rolled in. Got it though. Alright, we get Cub 1. Alright, Cube 1 was sent to the PC storage system. And we'll replenish our Poké Spot. I. I I think I might start just putting lots of Poké Snacks so that we can go, um... Because they'll all get consumed whenever there actually is a Pokémon, but... It's a real pain to urgently have to go run over there. I could also research how long Pokémon stay once the Pokéspot goes off, 
And if it's like half an hour, then they'll just do it at the end of every episode. Uh, go and catch up with anything we caught. Or I'll put enough that every like half hour or so, or the Pokemon will stay around for like a half hour. Reggie the town's leader, so he was duking, yeah. So I don't know where duking or Reggie lives, uh, so I can buy more stuff. I like the dev decided when making the names more reasonable, he'd still keep a lot of, like, Duking, right, as King because he's the leader. So they put Reggie as in, like, Regal. Um, which makes sense. Just got a stutter, but not a crash. Graphically. I just want to see if Duking is in here. B. So there's a healing machine right here. So that's nice. So Ludicolo's Shadow Surf uh, is a or Shadow Swim. Let's see if I can do this challenge actually. Yeah, we'll do this today. Or in this episode. Uh, Ludicolo's Shadow Swim is a bit of a liability because it hits my own teammates, but I have two ways to mitigate that. I have Protect on my Espeon now. I did replace Encore back with it. Encore didn't really see much use. Uh, and second, our Clefairy has the ability to... Its ability resists shadow moves. At least that's what I'm assuming resists evil moves means. So if we could kind of mitigate that damage, it would make this Ludicolo kind of a very strong force. So let's see uh, Chaser Abby here. She'll leave us tingling with shock. Look at these JPEGs in the background, these people. Looks like Street Fighter V. Got an Electrode and a Beedrill. I'll put on the Colo and Espeon. 25. That's fine. So I do have Giga Drain now, but I am going to spam Shadow Swim and Protect. Oh right, I got rid of Toxic, not Encore on Espeon. Uh, because I did put Toxic on... Oh, Faint, that's going to go through my Protect. <laughs> that's, that's amazing, I've actually never seen that happen in-game. Um, but... What was I talking about? I was talking about the... Oh yeah, uh, we... I put Toxic on our Clefable, or our Clefairy, which is much bulkier. I could honestly consider just straight up evolving with a Clefable now. Because I can afford a Moonstone. I, might, I think I'm gonna do that. Because again, nothing on this team is crazy long term. Got fully paralyzed, so what are you gonna do? But look at the force that comes from that move. And if we get like a Drizzle Politoed or something, we can take advantage of Swift Swim. Although, obviously, by the time we get that, I'd imagine we wouldn't have this be Shadow anymore. Uh, we'll send in our Clefairy. Yeah, I am somewhat looking to replace Murkrow on the team, because now that it doesn't have a priority sleep move, it doesn't really have the same niche that it used to have. So let's see how Clefairy handles Shadow Swim here. A helping hand, even. Fires off Discharge. So Discharge uh, apparently doesn't affect all three like it does in future gens. Uh, it's like Gen 3 where it only affects two. Just see he didn't hit his own V drill there. The Fury Cutter for big damage. Alright. Use Breloom. We can cover with Mach Punch on Electrode, and Clefairy can flame through the neutral. There you go. Flint <laughs> Bulge. Eyes bulging it when it goes down. Again, I, I miss these models a lot. They're just, I feel like they're so much better than the Sun and Moon ones. B. 
drill. Also, they had a drill run to Gen 3, that's cool. Got an A-Pom. Oh, that's gonna get my punched. What do I want to get the rest of the experience? I guess I'll let Bagon tag in. Bagon will evolve at 30, and because I like Shell Gun quite a bit, uh, and chances are at that point, it'll be a little weak. Uh, I am gonna use our two rare candies to get Bagon's level 28, 9, and 30. Oh, it faked up really. Fine. Fine. Fair play. Turnabout is fair play. Mock Punch. Dragon Claw. I feel like this is just not a good way to get some purity for Ludicolo and a little bit of experience. Um, and we just we need to throw some battles in. So that's what this episode's going to be. I'm going to go through the Pyrite Coliseum. And after that, our next episode will finally go into LNBS. Probably, probably what I'll do is uh, either at the end or at the start of these episodes, I will throw in any wild catches that we get. Yeah, I'll probably throw them at the end of an episode, unless I end up using them, in which case I'll put them at the start of the episode. Just so the chronology doesn't get confusing. So are you gonna fake me out too? I will protect. Thunderbolt. On uh, the Nicolo. Moderate. Air Slash, don't flinch me. You might kill me. Depending on if they buffed you on that. Down. So, so far, this strategy has been working wonderfully. Uh, we'll bring in Clefairy. Throw out Dazzling Gleam, uh, Espeon, I'll recall. Bring out a, kind of a sacrificial Murkrow here. I, don't, I just don't want Espeon as our lead to end up not getting any experience. Well, that's a dead Murkrow. <laughs> off. Nothing. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have all this to Fable afterward. We'll bring in Breloom, uh, even though there's that scary uh, air slash, because I just want to take out the Raichu. I know Breloom is not going to be faster than the Yanma, so I gotta use Mock Punch. Yeah, that'll take out Breloom in one shot, but I do have the Focus Sash, actually, that should have changed my decision making. I wonder if I can cheese it. Like, if I do this, if I go over here... And then the focus ash from trigger again, which is silly, but it'll get me to kill this Yanma. Unless I flinch, watch it'll flinch. Yeah, the focus ash will trigger again. And no flinch. I guess I'm used to it seeing fl oh come on with the miss. I guess I'm used to seeing flinches more on uh, Pokemon like uh, Serene Grace Pokemon. I'm gonna try that again. That seemed like it wasn't a bad plan. Pop our lemonade. And then Rock 
Shoot me out of that. So, hey, if it wants to take advantage of a quad weakness on me, I'll take advantage of a quad weakness on it. There's our big damage. Actually, could take out uh, Prelude because of the burn chance. So Fairy can get back. We'll send an Espeon and Prelude will punch. I almost went for Rock Tomb, but Mock Punch will be better because it gets Stab and Technician and uh, Super Effective. Nice. Should be a two-hit kill. Critical hit, but we hung on just barely. Burn? Okay. There you go. Barely level the 26. I need to use Bagon more, honestly. It needs more levels. My golden trio! Little unfair that we get to be six and then you get to use three. It's a good jingle, the intro to semifinals. So we got Randy. Oh man, I really hope it doesn't freeze during this, because we can't pause and save in between battles. Got Ninjask and Swellow. I'm looking into uh, about quick saving, and I think I should be able to get away with quick saving as long as I never restore a quick save that's older than an auto than a real save. So if I use real saves, uh, always do a real save before a quick save. When it, or yes, if I always quick save after I real save, it should be safe. Oh, why did you double target Ludicolo? Looks like they knew I was going for protect. Ooh, but we get the move off anyway. Big damage. That's to be unprotected itself. And Swellow's down. Espeon levels up. And we get speed boost. Curlia. Traced magic bounce, that's scary. Giga Drain. Because chances are this will kill my little Polo, and so Dazzling Gleam should take out the Ninjask and then also put a little bit of chip damage on Curlia. There it goes. Yeah. That damage is not completely insignificant. Minor damage. We can take a few of those. Uh, I got poison moves on on our Bagon, so I'm not too worried about eating a fairy attack if I can respond with our poison fang. Plus dazzling gleam again. That should be stronger than our resisted Psybeam. Oh, they must have implemented the thing where spread moves are weakened in Gen 4, which is actually kind of a neat thing. Uh, in Colosseum and XD, uh, spamming just surfs was the optimal strategy in the game. Just gonna do that, huh? Encore. So now you have to just do that. Well, we still try to roll to hit you. Come 
come on, you can land one. Hit it with Dazzling Gleam, that hits. Got it. So I like I'm liking these teams. They're finally like it's kind of hitting that sweet spot of difficulty where you have to think about stuff and you have to play like build your team well, but you aren't uh, completely getting stomped every time you do a battle. And here's the final. Jojo, you'll win the title if you can beat me. Chaser Jojo. Is that a unique color palette? Oh, she gets some good music. That's gonna be an Intimidate Mightyena. Yeah, definitely an Intimidate Mightyena. So Magic Bounce doesn't reflect Intimidate. Um, we'll Shadow and Protect for turn one. Hopefully they'll uh, double target Espeon. Ludicolo is faster than both, which is nice. Almost. Mighty and I avoided the attack. Got an iron defense up, which I'm okay with that. I'm dropping the special attacks anyway. And that bite was for Espeon. Excellent. Surf. Finish it up with Dazzling Gleam. Or rather, start it up with Dazzling Gleam, so it seems. Oh, right, but my Ludicolo will probably take out my own Espeon here. Hopefully, my Espeon can take one of these. I'm not super hopeful, though. I think it one shot Espeon during the battle with my Ruby. Take one, take one. Oh, it can take one. Good. My Deanna is avoiding these attacks like nobody's business, and now it's going to probably bite my Espeon to death. Yep, down. That's what I like to call some hacks. Like, not realm hacks, just hacks. Got it closer. Here's my fairy. We'll do Shadow Swim and Helping Hands. Having access to Helping Hand is really nice when all the battles are doubles. And I feel like the Helping Hand should add more damage than I would do with, um... Contributing with Dazzling Gleam. Okay, so the Weakened Shadow Moves ability is not as potent as I thought it would be. But that is still a powerful nuke that we can use with the Helping Hand involved. And that's the... Coliseum. You're good, you won the title. So I wonder what our reward is. Marvelous run of battles, here's your prize money of 3800 and we give you TM31. Which, I can't make any assumptions about which TM that is, because TM06 isn't toxic, so TM31 might not be- Yep, it's Psyshock. Which is definitely getting top to our Espeon. Just for more power, not only for the using on physical defense, we're also going to save our game. And we're fully healed. Yep. All right. So that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to uh, tune in next time.